The three major questions to be answered in the context of a judicial approach to the corona scandal are, one, is there a corona pandemic or is there only a PCR test pandemic? Specifically, does a positive PCR test result mean that the person tested is infected with COVID-19 or does it mean absolutely nothing? I am Rainer Fulmich and I have been admitted to the bar in Germany and in California for 26 years. I have been practicing law primarily as a trial lawyer against fraudulent corporations such as Deutsche Bank, formerly one of the world's largest and most respected banks, today one of the most toxic criminal organizations in the world. VW, one of the world's largest and most respected car manufacturers, today notorious for its giant diesel fraud, and Kühne and Nagel, the world's largest shipping company, were suing them in a multi-million dollar bribery case. I'm also one of four members of the German Corona Investigative Committee. Since July 10th, 2020, this committee has been listening to a large number of international scientists and experts' testimony to find answers to questions about the corona crisis, which more and more people worldwide are asking. All the above mentioned cases of corruption and fraud committed by the German corporations pale in comparison in view of the extent of the damage that the corona crisis has caused and continues to cause. This corona crisis, according to all we know today, must be renamed a corona scandal, and those responsible for it must be criminally prosecuted and sued for civil damages. On a political level, everything must be done to make sure that no one will ever again be in a position of such power as to be able to defraud humanity or to attempt to manipulate us with their corrupt agendas. And for this reason, I will now explain to you how and where an international network of lawyers will argue this biggest tort case ever, the corona fraud scandal, which has meanwhile unfolded into probably the greatest crime against humanity ever committed. Crimes against humanity were first defined in connection with the Nuremberg trials, after World War II that is, when they dealt with the main war criminals of the Third Reich. Crimes against humanity are today regulated in Section 7 of the International Criminal Code. The three major questions to be answered in the context of a judicial approach to the corona scandal are, one, is there a corona pandemic or is there only a PCR test pandemic? Specifically, does a positive PCR test result mean that the person tested is infected with COVID-19 or does it mean absolutely nothing in connection with the COVID-19 infection? Two, do the so-called anti-corona measures such as the lockdown, mandatory face masks, social distancing um, and quarantine regulations serve to protect the world's population from corona? Or do these measures serve only to make people panic so that they believe without asking any questions that their lives are in danger so that in the end the pharmaceutical and tech industries can generate huge profits from the sale of PCR tests, antigen and antibody tests and vaccines as well as the harvesting of our genetic fingerprints. And three, is it true that the German government was massively lobbied, more so than any other country, by the chief protagonists of this so-called corona pandemic, Mr. Drosden, virologist at Charité Hospital in Berlin, Mr. Wheeler, veterinarian and head of the German equivalent of the CDC, the RKI, and Mr. Tedros, head of the World Health Organization, or WHO, because of Germany is known as a particularly disciplined country and was therefore to become a role model for the rest of the world for its strict and, of course, successful adherence to the corona measures. Answers to these three questions are urgently needed because the allegedly new and highly dangerous coronavirus has not caused any excess mortality anywhere in the world and certainly not here in Germany. But the anti-corona measures, whose only basis are the PCR test results, which are in turn all based on the German Drosten test, have, in the meantime, 
caused the loss of innumerable human lives and have destroyed the economic existence of countless companies and individuals worldwide. In Australia, for example, people are thrown into prison if they do not wear a mask or do not wear it properly as deemed by the authorities. In the Philippines, people who do not wear a mask or do not wear it properly in this sense are getting shot in the head.